good morning we are uh, we're out on the bank we are in swim two of our secret spot so this is the spot we've got carved out in the woods uh, very very small space only room for two rods and we have to use our nine footers the 12 will not uh, fit in here you just can't play a fish with a 12 footer it's hard enough just trying to net the fish in this swim so it, it's been a rough start this season um, you know we've had so much rain we kind of got lucky in May with our our main spring spot for uh, for April and May once the ice finally pushed out we absolutely smashed it up and for the month of May I actually had 45 carp um, four of which were over 20 pounds considering that April I only had four fish and you could tell how late the start was this year um, so now we're halfway through June and I haven't had many fish so far in June I think I've had seven fish so far in June uh, three of which have been 20 pounders uh, luckily those came from the Fish in Canada Carp Cup just a few weeks ago um, so yeah we're just we're back on our home water trying to get back into the swing of things We've done two sessions since we've been back from the tournament, and both cases produced one fish for each of us. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice job, Goldie. Um, both both of those sessions produced one fish for each of us. Um, so we've really been struggling. The rain here has has just kind of thrown everything into a, a kind of an out of whack kind of mode. Um, you know, up in the creeks near the house. Not too far from here, the uh, the fish were starting to spawn a week ago. The rains came in really heavy. We're getting like two and three days of rain each week. Drop the temperature of the water, raise the water levels, uh, just completely uh, threw off the clarity completely. And so the fish have stopped spawning and really aren't in a feeding mode yet. So whereas this time last year, we were really starting to smash it. Um, we're really really struggling Kevin's only had a few since we've been back from the tournament just fishing up up from us and he's had clear water where he was uh, where we are today you know we had a massive downpour last night we were prepared to, to come out here about 1 a.m. bait up heavy and just relax for the rest of the night so that at first light until about 10 o'clock when we have to leave um, we should have been able to just crush it here that's not the case. Um, we got here at first light because the downpour was too heavy. We wouldn't have been able to set up properly in the rain. So we came here for 5 a.m., got set up, got some bait in, got our lines in. It's now just past 7, and we're just starting to get fish rising over the bait. So, you know, it, again, everything is delayed. But we're giving it our best. You know, it's it's going to turn around at some point. We're just trying to persevere and learn more about this area in particular. You know, the last this is now our third season here, and each season has presented a completely different set of challenges. One season was really really weedy, uh, with silty bottom. Uh, last year there was less silt, less weeds, uh, and less fish, but the fish were of a better better stamp. Uh, this year so far we have almost no silt the weeds have, have just started to come up now and We're really struggling. We haven't had any monster fish like we've had in the past here So it's just one of those things where will you stop playing with that? That's what my mom said. Oh my god <laughs> So yeah, it's one of those things where we've just got to continue to learn more as the conditions change here so that we can build up our our, our knowledge base of uh, of this swim and the one just down from us um, that we frequent and hopefully you know by the time we get to the fifth or sixth season fishing this area any condition that presents itself we'll, we'll be able to to be productive and get, and get fish in but we've got about three hours before we have to absolutely have to get out of here uh, and get back home so now that we have fish rising on the bait we're not going to put any more bait in we've got fresh rigs out fresh hook baits and 
yeah, hopefully we'll hit one. Ideally, if we can get a fish, we'll do a bit of a rig talk for you because we're both doing something specific with our rigs for these particular conditions here, um, which we've not faced in the past. This Normally we have anywhere from 6 to 15 feet of visibility here. The water is usually crystal clear. Um, like I said, you can see about a foot and that's it. So yeah, until until we can actually get a bite, um, yeah, stay tuned. really far right but not deep enough. It's just after 10 a.m. Um, luckily, I'm still here. Uh, Goldie is actually uh, jetted out to take care of the errands I had to uh, had to take care of, so that's covered. Um, but that leaves me here for about another two hours of fishing. Uh, still haven't had a fish. Lots of liners, and up until about 10 minutes ago. We were regularly having fish crash all over the place in front of us over the bait. And still, nothing more than just liners. Um, but the weather's been increasingly more nasty. The, uh, the rain has been coming down quite heavy at times. Um, temperatures dropped quite a bit. And then uh, and a whole bunch of rowers came through and all the fish just stopped moving. I know they're still there though. Um, still getting the odd liner so I know they're still down there I just don't understand why they're not taking the hook baits we've tried slightly longer rigs we've tried shorter rigs uh, tried a few different hook bait options to kind of match what we've been putting out uh, even that hasn't done anything so it's, it's really a tough call at this point uh, I'll be completely honest with these conditions and uh, the way things have been going here the last few sessions I genuinely don't know what else to try um, I've got a thousand things in my arsenal and all my, you know, top level choices and even secondary choices at this point have been tried and, uh, yeah, nothing so far. But, um, yeah, i got about another two hours. I might be able to push it to three if I'm lucky. Um, you know, it is Father's Day at this point when we're filming this, so... I really do want to make sure that I spend a, a good amount of time this afternoon with my son. So I, I'm, I'm kind of kind of pushing that envelope today just to get out and enjoy some fishing. Um, just want one fish. The, the water, man, it's it's tough. It's The water will be perfectly still. We'll get a few liners. And then all of a sudden the flow will pull out. And, uh, you know, bobbin tightens right up. 
nothing's there obviously it's just the current and the weeds hitting the line uh, then it stops get a couple liners and then it comes back in so it's just just so frustrating on the upside you know the, the bird life is is fantastic so far this morning uh, they're all over us lots of really cool cool birds that I don't see all the time usually just in the spring um, so I am enjoying the you know just odd for me but I am enjoying just being out but man I really want to fish And it sounds like there's a motorboat coming back, so the rowers are probably coming back this way. I think at this point, with them having spooked the fish off, I'm going to put another scoop or two of bait just over where I'm sitting, just down the ledge a bit. I've been I've tried up above the ledge, didn't get any indication whatsoever, despite all the rising fish there. Uh, I tried deeper down the ledge where I would normally fish in this spot, lots of liners no takes at this point now I'm fishing halfway up the ledge um, so I'm still getting liners still have well up until just recently still had fish rising technically over where I'm fishing uh, just waiting on that bite so I think at this point I'm gonna put two scoops of bait in I don't have much bait left for this morning because I had planned to be out of here by 10 um, so just like two half scoops just dropped on there so there's a little bit of something going down maybe I can uh, trigger a bit of a frenzy and get a bite. We'll see. Pretty 
Condor would have given up by now. Well, it's not much to the size, but that fish just ended a string of blanks. I really needed that fish. Let's get a better look at it. Oh, yes. A very, very welcome fish. Like I said, after a string of blanks, we've just really been struggling, really working hard. The fish have been all over us each time we're out, and we're just, we're not getting bites, just liner after liner, which is how this morning started. And then just as I was trying to put together a new rig that I think would trip them up and, and end this run of blanks, I had just an old rig with a dried out pop-up on it that I put out there just to keep fishing while I put together the new one. And uh, yeah, it wasn't out there three minutes and absolutely tore right off. That sounds like something somebody else would do. Oh, you mean I goldied it by putting in a, putting in a really dried out old bait. Yeah, I totally goldied it there. Look at how angry he still is. Okay, I wanna get this fish back. Look at the size of the fins for such a small fish. Huge fins. Let's get them back and uh, now I gotta tie a new rig and I gotta put a new bait on the old rod. So fresh bait means no fish. So Goldie, I guess that's your turn next. I'm sure you can see that I'm not uh, overly impressed at this point. Um, this is our second session in this spot. And while the results are slightly better than last week, um, yeah, they're not what we were hoping for. Uh, June has been tough on us. May was amazing, but June has been really tough on us last week. You know, we, we pushed the envelope and managed to get in an extra four hours of fishing with no results. Um, this morning it started out about the same, but then we managed to fish, and then it just shut everything down. They are still going absolutely bonkers over the spots, and, oh no, that's a cormorant out there. But yeah, there's still lots of activity on the water, and... We haven't had so much as a bump since we had that fish this morning. So I'm a little disappointed, a little bit frustrated, but you know, that's kind of how fishing goes sometimes. Just hit me a little bit hard this time, I think, because we were really expecting to do well the way the weather's been. Conditions in our spot here are, are not what they used to be. And we're trying to learn how to adapt to that you know it's, this is i think i mentioned last week this is our third season being you know in here fishing this spot and we're constantly hit with different conditions different situations with the bottom um we're just trying to figure it out you know it's it's part of fishing the same spot for long periods of time things are going to change inevitably um, the only thing that hasn't changed is that the fish are here we just need to figure out what we need to do to adapt to their needs to, to start producing consistently again from here. So for now, we got, I think we got a half an hour left and uh, then we have to be out of here. We, we can't push it this week. We have to be out of here. Um, but we are going out again tomorrow. So for now, we're going to wrap this one up and uh, 
yeah, a, another video of just difficult situations, difficult conditions, but we got to show it how it goes. This is what's happening, you know, to, to so many people out there while they're putting in the effort and yeah, it's just, it's just part and parcel of fishing. Oh, Goldie just had a liner. That is the most activity we've had in like an hour and a half. If that bobbin so much as wiggles, you need to be like lightning and just set the hook into nothing because that's what's there. Just so you know. Yep, I know. But yeah, I think we're going to go out tomorrow. We're going to go to a different spot. We're going to meet up with, uh, with some friends possibly just to try and get out and enjoy it again and, and stop. Stop putting so much effort in and just get the focus back to let's get out and enjoy some fishing. So hopefully we'll do better tomorrow. If not, I think it'll be a little bit more relaxing having some friends there. Different spot, change of scenery. And then once the conditions change back here, once we get back to clear water, and I can get over the fact that fish are rising over my bait constantly and not taking my rig, um, then we'll come back down here in you know, a couple weeks and give it a proper go again. Oh, that was a nice fish. <laughs> that one was thick across the back. That's kind of painful. I would really like to have a close-up look of that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, now. It's like four fish in a line mm -hmm. right across over top of us. I think today's probably a day that we probably should have jumped to zigs as soon as the, the sun kind of crested over behind us. The problem is fishing a slope, it's just impossible to know what depth. Ugh, frustrating, difficult. Like I said, we only got half hour, 20 minutes left. If we get a fish, we'll show you um, in that time. But if not, uh, yeah. That's a wrap. good side is that the hook dug right into that tree so it's sharp. The downside is I forgot to open the bail because I was too excited to cast in. Let me just, just try to pump that free there. Goldie did. Oh yeah.